And at the ends of the earth I saw twelve portals open to all the quarters of the heaven, from which the winds go forth and blow over the earth. Three of them are open on the face of the heavens, and three in the west, and three on the right of heaven, and three on the left. And the three first are those of the east, and three are of the north, and three after those on the left, of the south, and three of the west. Through four of these come winds of blessing and prosperity, and from those eight come hurtful winds. When they are sent, they bring destruction on all the earth, and on the water upon it, and on all who dwell thereon, and on everything which is in the water and on the land. And the first wind from those portals, called the east wind, comes forth through the first portal, which is in the east, inclining towards the south. From it comes forth desolation, drought, heat, and destruction. And through the second portal in the middle comes what is fitting. And from it there come rain and fruitfulness and prosperity and dew. And through the third portal, which lies toward the north, come cold and drought. And after these come forth the south winds through three portals. Through the first portal of them, inclining to the east, comes forth a hot wind. And through the middle portal next to it, there come forth fragrant smells and dew and rain and prosperity and health. And through the third portal lying in the west come forth dew and rain, locusts and desolation. And after these the north winds, from the seventh portal in the east come dew and rain, locusts and devastation. And from the middle portal come in a direct direction health and rain and dew and prosperity. And through the third portal in the west come cloud and hoarfrost and snow and rain and dew and locusts. And after these four are the west winds, through the first portal adjoining the north come forth dew and hoarfrost, and cold and snow and frost, and from the middle portal come forth dew and rain, and prosperity and blessing. And through the last portal which adjoins the south come forth drought and desolation, and burning and destruction. And the twelve portals of the four quarters of the heaven are therewith completed. And all their laws, and all their plagues, and all their benefactions I have shown to thee, my son Methuselah. And the first quarter is called the east, because it is the first. And the second, the south, because the Most High will descend there. Yea, there in quite a special sense will he who is blessed forever descend. And the west quarter is named the diminished, because there all the luminaries of heaven wane and go down. And the fourth quarter, named the north, is divided into three parts. The first of them is for the dwelling of men, and the second contains seas of water, and the abysses and forests and rivers and darkness and clouds. And the third part contains the garden of righteousness. I saw seven high mountains, higher than all the mountains which are on the earth, and thence comes forth hoarfrost, and days, seasons, and years pass away. I saw seven rivers on the earth, larger than all the rivers. One of them, coming from the west, pours its waters into the great sea, and these two come from the north to the sea, and pour their waters into the Erythrean Sea in the east. And the remaining four come forth on the side of the north to their own sea, two of them to the Erythrean Sea, and two into the Great Sea, and discharge themselves there, and some say into the desert. Seven great islands I saw in the sea, and in the mainland, two in the mainland, and five in the Great Sea. And the names of the sun are the following, the first, Orjares, the second, Tomas, and the moon has four names, the first name is Esonja, the second, Ebla, the third, Benase, and the fourth, Edae. These are the two great luminaries. Their circumference is like the circumference of the heaven, and the size of the circumference of both is alike. In the circumference of the sun there are seven portions of light which are added to it more than to the moon, and in definite measures it is transferred till the seventh portion of the sun is exhausted. And they set and enter the portals of the west, and make their revolution by the north, and come forth through the eastern portals on the face of the heaven. And when the moon rises one fourteenth part, it appears in the heaven, and the light becomes full in her. On the fourteenth day she accomplishes her light. And fifteen parts of light are transferred to her till the fifteenth day, when her light is accomplished.
According to the sign of the year, and she becomes fifteen parts, and the moon grows by the addition of fourteen parts, and in her waning the moon decreases on the first day to fourteen parts of her light, and on the second to thirteen parts of her light, and on the third to twelve, on the fourth to eleven, on the fifth to ten, on the sixth to nine, on the seventh to eight, on the eighth to seven, on the ninth to sixth, on the tenth to five, on the eleventh to four, on the twelfth to three, on the thirteenth to two, on the fourteenth to the half of a seventh, and all her remaining light disappears wholly on the fifteenth. And in certain months, the month has twenty-nine days, and once twenty-eight. And Uriel showed me another law. When light is transferred to the moon, and on which side it is transferred to her by the sun. During all the period during which the moon is growing in her light, she is transferring it to herself when opposite to the sun during fourteen days. Her light is accomplished in the heaven. And when she is illuminated throughout, her light is accomplished full in the heaven. And on the first day she is called the new moon, for on that day the light rises upon her. She becomes full moon exactly on the day when the sun sets in the west, and from the east she rises at night, and the moon shines the whole night through till the sun rises over against her, and the moon is seen over against the sun. On the side whence the light of the moon comes forth, there again she wanes till the light vanishes, and all the days of the month are at an end, and her circumference is empty, void of light, and three months she makes of thirty days, and at her time she makes three months of twenty-nine days each, in which she accomplishes her waning in the first period of time, and in the first portal for one hundred and seventy-seven days, and in the time of her going out she appears for three months of thirty days each, and for three months she appears of twenty-nine days each. At night she appears like a man for twenty days each time, and by day she appears like the heaven, and there is nothing else in her save her light. And now, my son, I have shown thee everything, and the laws of all the stars of heaven is completed. And he showed me all the laws of these for every day, and for every season of bearing rule, and for every year, and for its going forth, and for the order prescribed to it every month and every week, and the waning of the moon which takes place in the sixth portal. For in this sixth portal her light is accomplished, and after that there is the beginning of the waning and the waning which takes place in the first portal in its season, till one hundred and seventy-seven days are accomplished, reckoned according to weeks, twenty-five weeks, and two days. She falls behind the sun in the order of the stars exactly five days in the course of one period, and when this place which thou seest has been traversed, such is the picture and sketch of every luminary which Uriel the archangel, who is their leader, showed unto me. And in those days the angel Uriel answered and said to me, Behold, I have shown thee everything, Enoch, and I have revealed everything to thee that thou shouldest see this sun and this moon and the leaders of the stars of the heaven and all those who turn them, their tasks and times and departments.